Welcome into this week's episode of Falcon Fever. I'm Dorothy Sherman and Carlos Barahona will join us in a minute from the sports room. We are your weekly source to Montevallo sports. We start off with men's soccer team as they get ready to wrap up their regular season this week. The men honored their seniors in their final home game last week. The Falcons got behind early as North Georgia took a quick one to nothing lead just three minutes into the game. Montevallo fired back several times, finally scoring a goal when Alex Guja headed the ball into the goal. In the second half, the Falcons continued pressuring the ball, which helped Nathaniel Foster score a pair of goals in the time span of only eight minutes. The Falcons had an overall shot advantage of 18 to six, earning a W by a score of three to one. Montevallo traveled to Lander three days later to face the Bearcats. The Falcons and the Bearcats went back and forth in the first half as both teams scored goals, taking one-to-one -one tie at the half. Although the Bearcats outshot the Falcons 4-3, to three, Montevallo scored the lone goal in the second half when Aaron McCarthy broke behind the defense off an assist from Milan Paulich for an easy goal. The Falcons held on to a 2-1 win. This marked Lander's first loss since the beginning of October. That brings the Falcons' record to 9-5-1. and The men's soccer team competes in their final game of the regular season as they travel to Shorter October 29th. We asked head soccer coach Ryan Pratt how he felt about this 2009 team and his senior leadership. Like you said, the season is not quite over, uh, and so um, we've kind of uh, done well in the end, in the back half of the season, where in the first half we struggled a little bit. Finally got some of our, our key players back from injury, and we're starting to play real well right now. So I think we'll finish the season much better than we started, and hopefully we'll finish uh, in grand fashion. The Peace Belt Conference Tournament starts on Tuesday, and there's a slim chance we could host that game on our campus here on Tuesday evening. Uh, and then our ultimate goal will be to win that conference championship. Well, I think anytime you anytime you lose seniors, uh, what you're losing is is maturity and leadership, uh, and and that's always hard to replace. And, and that's the same with this group. Uh, I have a couple of guys that are uh, have matured into very good leaders for us, uh, and uh, have played that role very nicely. And so we're going to miss a lot of uh, a lot of that aspect of this group, which is the leadership aspect of it. The women's soccer team also played against the Lander Bearcats. After a scoreless first half, the Falcons' Alyssa Maxwell made eight spectacular saves and Paige Scott scored the only goal of the game. That was enough to clinch victory for the Lady Falcons. Final score, one to nothing. The win keeps postseason hopes alive for the Lady Falcons. Montevallo has two more conference games to play as they travel to Columbus State on October 28th then against GCSU on Halloween. Now let's take it to the hard court. The women's tennis team is off to a strong start. Women's tennis finished their fall season undefeated. Last week, the Lady Falcons took on Central Alabama Community College at home in an exhibition matchup. The ladies swept through, winning all nine of their matches. Junior transfer Callie Robinson shares with us how she feels about being undefeated her first year here. Yeah, it feels really good. I mean, coming from another school, you never know how it's going to be. You have to re-jail with a whole new team, but so far it's turned out really good, and I think we're going to have a great season. The West Florida Invitational concludes their season until the spring. Now let's go to Carlo Barahona in the sports room with more on golf and cross country. Carlos? That's right, Dorothy. The men's golf team finished their fall portion of their schedule last week as they competed in the Indian Bayou Classic. Despite tough conditions on the first day, Montevallo came back and cut six strokes of their first score in the next day. The Falcons placed 13th in the end with sophomore Aaron Ebert 
finishing highest at 28th place with a score of 152. The Falcons will return to action spring under new head coach Justin Pratt. The women's cross-country team participated in the PBC Championship over the weekend as they competed against 11 other teams. Haley Evans, Jeannie Davids, and Kayla Glover were named all-conference with Evans being placed on the first team. Evans finished 6th in the 6K course with Davids finishing at 9th place and Glover with a 13th place finish. The Falcons finished 3rd overall. The women's cross-country team is the first Montevallo program to compete for a Beach Bell Conference title since joining the conference this year. On November 7th, the Falcons will head to Wingate, North Carolina to compete in this NCAA Southeast Region Championship. The women's volleyball team didn't see any action this past weekend. Two teams had to pull out of the Carson Newman tournament due to sickness, and so it was canceled. The Lady Falcons will, back, will be back on the road this Friday to face Francis Marion, then UNC Pembroke Saturday, and finally to West Florida on November 3rd. Now back to Dorothy to find out about who is in this week's spotlight. Dorothy? This week's Falcon Fever Player of the Week honor goes to women's soccer player Alyssa Maxwell. Over the weekend, Maxwell did not allow a single goal as Montefiallo defeated a ranked lander by a score of one to nothing. Now, if you would like to watch a replay of today's show or want to catch any other show of the past week, visit our website at montevallo.edu slash mc or just look us up on YouTube by searching Falcon Fever. If you have any pictures of Montevallo teams on the road, please send them to us. You can send it to masscom00 at gmail.com. Well, I'm Dorothy Sherman. Keep your eye on the ball, and we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>